Hello and welcome to the Educate community, if it's your first time here. I'm Rebecca Simons and this is the channel where we discuss all things ed tech. Ever feel like your notes are scattered everywhere? When I was teaching, my computer was covered in sticky notes and I had reminders and lists that were scribbled everywhere on random scraps of paper. That doesn't have to be you. Today, I wanna introduce you to Google Keep, your new secret weapon for staying organized and keeping track of all your lists and reminders. So what exactly is Google Keep? Think of it as your digital sticky note command center. It's like having a bulletin board of sticky notes that goes wherever you do. Keep is part of Google Workspace, so it's on your phone, your computer, even your Apple Watch. Easy access means you're more likely to use it, especially when you're first building the habit. Keep also has great organizational features. Color coding notes? Check. Pinning notes for easy access? Check. And of course, labels, which function like folders. Plus, it has time-saving features like resetting a checklist with one click, easy access to frequently used images, and the ability to share notes so you can brainstorm with your colleagues. To access the desktop version of Keep, you're going to type keep.google.com into your browser. Or you can find Keep in what I'd like to call the productivity side panel that appears in most Google Workspaces. Simply look for the light bulb and click to open. You can start a note by clicking in the take a note box in either location. Or my personal favorite, you can use the shortcut keep.new to instantly create a new note. The .new shortcut is amazing and can be used with almost any of the Google products. Once you've started your note, a menu will appear at the bottom. This is where the real magic of Keep happens. So let's quickly walk through what each of the icons do. The first icon, Remind Me, allows you to set a reminder for your note based on a date, a time, or even a location. Let's say you need to remember to run copies when you get to school in the morning. Set the GPS location to your school and Keep will send you a reminder about your list when you arrive at work. The second icon allows you to share notes with others. Add a team member so you can brainstorm together or build resource lists. When you add a collaborator, their profile picture will appear at the bottom of the note. Next up are backgrounds. You can choose between solid colors, patterns, or a combination of both. I tend to stick with solid colors simply because I think the pattern backgrounds make the notes a little more difficult to read. Pro tip, use the colors to add a little extra organization to keep by color coding your notes. The next option is probably one of my favorites, adding an image to a note. I like to use images as headers for a pop-up fun and visual organization, but they aren't just for looks. Let's say you're at a meeting and they hand you a paper with important dates. Instead of trying to keep up with the paper, snap a picture and attach it to your note. Then you can jot down any additional information underneath. If you have multiple handouts, you can attach all of the images to the exact same note. Next is the archive icon. To keep my workspace uncluttered, I archive any project brainstorming I'm not actively using. You can easily unarchive notes by clicking on archive in the side menu, then click on the archive icon again. Archive notes are still going to be visible when you search or filter by a label, but they won't show up in the main view of Keep or when you're looking through the productivity sidebar. Finally, you have the more menu. When you're starting a new note, you can click here to add labels, drawings, or checkboxes. 
Once your note has been saved, even more options will appear under this menu. Let's go through a few of these starting with labels. Labels are like Keep's filing system. When you add a label, it will show up at the bottom of the note. If I want to see all of the notes that share a specific label, like brainstorming, all I have to do is click on the label and they all appear, even if something has been archived. Adding multiple labels to a note allows it to appear in multiple locations. As you can see here, this one has brainstorming and the educate community, so it doesn't matter which label I click on, course ideas will appear in both locations. Labels are ordered alphabetically in the side menu, but you can manipulate the order by adding numbers or emojis in front of the name. Add drawing allows you to create a sketch and add it to your note. Background options for your canvas are going to include blank, graph, dots, or ruled lines. You can even use add a drawing to annotate on top of an existing image in your note. Simply click on your image, then click on the pin icon in the top right corner and your image becomes your canvas. Next up are check boxes. Check boxes can give you that oh so satisfying feeling of crossing things off. Check an item and it will get a strike through and move to the bottom of your list. The more menu also allows you to hide check boxes if you decide you don't want them, delete all checked items, or reset your entire list with a single click. This feature is great, especially if you're using it for routine checklists. You can also copy a keep note to a Google Doc. This feature is great when you're ready to move your brainstorming to something a little more formal. Let's say you jotted down a bunch of thoughts for your next team meeting. With a single click, you can send that note to a Google Doc where you can add structure, formatting, and flesh out your thoughts. When you click Copy to Google Docs, you'll get a notification in the bottom left corner of your screen once it's complete. Simply click Open Doc to access your file. Finally, Keep provides you with a pen icon to move current projects or the ones you use all the time to the top of your screen. Then all you have to do is click and drag to rearrange the order they appear in. Next, let's talk about the main menu. Clicking on the icon with the three stacked lines will collapse or expand the left-hand sidebar. I recommend leaving it expanded so you can easily see all of your label names. The sidebar allows you to filter notes by ones that have reminders, labels, or archived items. You can also click on edit labels to edit any label's name or delete it. Finally, you have the trash icon. Anything that's moved to the trash is permanently deleted after seven days. In addition to filters, Keep also has a search feature. Click in the search field or hit the question mark on your keyboard to activate search. You can narrow down your results by filtering the type of content your note contains, URL, images, lists, or reminders, whether it has a label, things it might include, people it might be shared with, or note color, which is especially useful if your notes are color coded. For example, I could choose green and it would bring up all of the notes in Keep that are green, which for me are all of my Google level one notes. Keep not only searches through your notes, but also your images for keywords. For example, if I type in the word Wonderland, you can see that it appears nowhere in the main body of the note, but it does appear in the image I've added. On the far right, there are a couple additional icons I wanna cover. The one that looks like two stacked rectangles allows you to toggle between a grid view and a list view. 
Personally, I stick with the grid view because it allows me to see more of my stickies at once. Under the gear icon, you can access settings where you can control the default times that were reminders will be sent, go dark mode, enable sharing, and more. One of the reasons I love using Google is because their tools play so nicely together. Remember how I said you can access Keep from your sidebar? That means you can use it alongside Docs, Slides, and more. In fact, you can simply drag an entire note and its associated images straight into your doc. We'll talk about some awesome ways you can use this feature in just a minute. Keep can also create smart chips, which are similar to a hyperlink. Keep smart chips can be created for Google Calendar events, emails, docs, slides, and sheets. Once a smart chip has been added to a Keep note, one click is all it takes to open up the document that's attached to that note. To create a smart chip, all you need to do is have the file you want to link open, then start a new note from the Keep sidebar. Now that you're a Keep Pro, here are some of my favorite ways to use it, plus a few extra ideas. Idea number one, Create routine checklists. Keep is great for those repeating checklists you have, like daily tasks, weekly prep, even monthly routine. The best part is, once you've checked off an entire list, one click resets the entire list for next time. Idea number two, project planning. Use Keep to manage your projects and to-do lists. Make a note for each project, then you can prioritize tasks by moving items to a separate Today's Goals notes. Full disclosure, I prefer to use Google Tasks for my project checklist, but I do use Keep to keep a list of my long-term projects and future project brainstorming. Idea number three, curate links. Keep is the perfect spot to organize and store resources. Just paste the links directly into the note, then add a hashtag like hashtag standard number or hashtag unit name for an additional easy search feature. Bonus tip, I also have a note for links that I'm always emailing out. In the classroom, this might be your class website, the school website, school calendar, lunch menu, parent portal, etc. Idea number four, store grading comments or grading requirements. Keep can help streamline your feedback cycle by storing frequently used comments or grading requirements for easy access. I know Google Classroom has a comment bank, but I love how Keep lets me sort them by assignment. Here's my system. When I sit down to grade, I pull up Google Classroom in one window and Keep in another. Then I filter by my course or assignment name, like Google Level 1. I also have all these notes color coded green. Each note contains the requirements for the assignment and comments I find myself frequently responding with. Idea number five, store frequently used digital elements. Keep is a great place to store frequently used images like digital signatures, logos, bitmoji stickers, fun gifts, etc. If I wanted to write a quick class update, I could drag in the school logo, a bulleted list of things I want to remind families of, and my signature. Add a little formatting, and it's ready to go. I could then send out a link to the Google Doc with view-only access, or I could download it as a PDF and attach it to my email. If you'd like to give digital stickers on assignments, you could store these in Keep, and quickly pull one onto a student's work. To make a quick sticker, you can use the Bitmoji extension. Open your extension, right click on the image you want to use, and select Save Image As. I typically just save my images to my downloads folder. In Keep, start a note by clicking on the image icon, then select the image from your downloads, and say OK. I'm also going to add the label digital stickers 
so I can filter by this label in the future. When I open my Google Doc the next time and click on keep in the productivity sidebar, my sticker will be there ready for me to use. Idea number six, go paperless. Use Keep as your new digital filing cabinet for handouts and flyers. Have a staff meeting, snap a picture of that handout, then jot your notes either right on the image or in the space below. Keep also has a cool feature under the More menu called Grab Image Text. It can pull the text from an image and add it directly to the note. This works best when something is typed versus handwritten. I hope this video got you excited about all the ways Keep can help upgrade your productivity and organization. If you found this helpful, please share with a teacher friend. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll be notified each time we post new content. If you have other ideas for using Keep or a recommendation for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.